ti faccio paura. South Korea has been a hotbed of acclaimed movies for the last 20 years. The screen quota giving local productions great public exposure allowed the country's national cinema to flourish. The new breed of directors, bent on subverting classic Hollywood genres, also grabbed the attention of international audiences. And the unconventional cinematic style of these pictures turned them into darlings of the global festival circuit. According to critics, the often controversial subject matter of these films, emphasizing historic and social issues, complement their equally bold visual style. The increasing interest in this new kind of film allowed South Korea to eventually export its product to foreign multiplexes. Mr. Kim, formaldehyde, dirty formaldehyde. Pour him into the sink. And the awards received by the filmmakers at high-profile festivals like Venice, Berlin and Cannes resulted in them being aggressively sought after by Hollywood. But their Tinseltown period was not received as groundbreaking as their early works. Ten years in planning, on the cusp of a product that will feed millions, and what happens? Not wanting to lose their foreign audience, some of the star directors prefer to work on international co-productions since moving back home. But once again, they've found themselves at the centre of controversy. Insiders say the Hollywood-induced online release schedules will cause a major shift in the overall film-going experience. Yeah.